Hi guys! Today I will be sharing a no-bake dessert called Graham Crema di Pruta. For the ingredients, we need 1 can or 395 grams of condensed milk. I'm using thickened cream or whipping cream which is 600 ml. I happen to pick up um, honey flavored graham crackers that is single pack. So all in all, I use 21 um, pieces of the single pack. To form our crema di fruta, this is optional. I have I'll be using a square pan which is 10 by 10 inches lined with parchment paper. Now we just gonna whip the cream until it slightly thickens up. Once the texture is like this, we can start adding the condensed milk. I am whipping the um, cream until it reaches soft big stage. I want it to be able to um, thicken up so when we remove the um, crema de fruta from the pan, the cream doesn't ooze out. So this is the texture that I'm looking for. I'm just going to set this aside for a while while I open up the individual packages of the Graham cracker. Unfortunately, my Graham crackers is, is a little bit broken, but I choose a good one that I will put on the top and on the bottom. And the half broken ones I'm going to put in the middle. It totally works fine, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm ready to assemble the Graham cracker. So, at the bottom of the um, pan, line the graham crackers flat until you fill the whole pan with the graham crackers. Now we're going to put the first layer of the cream. Spread the cream evenly. If you can find whipping cream or thickened cream in your area, you can also use all-purpose cream. Now we can start to put another layer of the graham crackers. Then another layer of the cream. All in all, I use five layers of graham cracker and then five layers of cream. And this is the fifth layer of the um, graham crackers. And the fifth layer of the cream. On the top, I put a little bit more, but you don't have to. And 
set this side for a little bit while we move on to the next step I've got Fiesta food cocktail in here which is about 850 grams I just gonna drain the liquid you don't need the liquid and then um, I'm just arranging the fruit cocktail on top of the whipping cream you don't have to do this step but you don't want to disturb the um, whipping cream on top so I'm gently putting the fruit cocktail on top and now we're just gonna put this in the fridge while we move on to the next step for the jelly we need three fourths cup of sugar three cups of water and eight teaspoon of gelatin and flavored gelatin so in a saucepan combine the water and the gelatin give it a quick mix and then we're just gonna let this boil in a stove with a heat setting medium to low heat once it starts boiling we can add the sugar and then we're just gonna continue to mix this until the sugar as well dissolve and then we can take this out of the heat and let it cool down completely before adding this into the um, crema di frutta so so we're gonna add the gelatin into addition so I'm adding the first um, half of the gelatin I'm using a spoon so I don't disturb the um, cream on top and then I just gotta put this in the fridge for four minutes only at four minutes the gelatin will set since um, the crema di frutta is already cold and after four minutes we can add the rest of the gelatin So now I'm adding the rest of the gelatin and then cover this with cling wrap and let it rest overnight. So it gives time for the graham crackers to um, soften. So it's really important to let it set overnight. So after overnight, this is what it looks like. Now we can take it out of the pan. So it is important when you put... Um, parchment paper it's overhanging so you can use it to pull the crema di frutta from the pan I'm just showing you how to remove the parchment paper at the bottom and this is the finished product I hope you give this a try because this is really good and I can guarantee that you're gonna love this just to show you what it looks like when you cut the cake Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you have any question, leave it down in the description box below. Bye!